What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So some huge updates for the Uncover Jailbreak beta today. It does bring partial support to the A12 and A12X devices. This is super exciting. So if we go ahead and open up Uncover, as you can see, it no longer says unsupported. This is on the 10s Max. I can jailbreak it. Now keep in mind guys, this is only a partial jailbreak. It will not install Cydia at this point. We still have to wait for Soric to update Substrate in order for Cydia to work on it. So it could be a week or so until that functionality is updated and added to the uncovered jailbreak. But we can still jailbreak it and I'm actually gonna do it on video here for you guys. So hopefully this goes smoothly. Um, but I do want to add here, if you guys want to download the latest version of the Uncovered Jailbreak, you can get it from the Ignition application. And uh, as of the making of this video, it's on version 3.0.0 beta 45. So if we go into the jailbreaks here, swipe all the way down to the bottom. Here is Uncover New Beta is the one you want. And if you swipe all the way down, as you can see, it is version 3.0.0 beta 45 so this is the one you want to install for those of you that do have the a12 devices so go ahead and get it from ignition if you guys need to see how to get ignition i'll leave my video tutorial in the description but after you've installed it and trusted it you can now jailbreak your device one thing i do want to make sure that i do not have is a ota update in my device you want to make sure that you delete that so if you go to your settings go into iphone storage um, you guys would be able to see if there was a OTA update available here. It'd be basically the settings icon, and it would probably be version 12.1.4 because that's the latest iOS 12 or newest iOS 12 version that is out for the public right now. So if you guys do have that OTA update within your storage, make sure you delete that. It's incredibly important that you delete that. I do not have one because I have mine blocked currently. So let's go ahead and let's just try this. So let's just go ahead and click on jailbreak. Super exciting. It's going to do a few things. If you guys are wondering why I'm even doing this jailbreak, if it doesn't install Cydia, um, it does a couple of things. It will block um, It will block the OTA, up, OTA updates on your device. It seems to be working. Um, so it will block it for you. It's also going to... Make it so that none of your um, uh, apps get revoked if you have apps that can get revoked. So as long as you're in the jailbroken state, uh, Uncover will block them from getting revoked as well, which is super handy because I like to use things like MovieBox and Happy Chick and stuff like that. So there is a little bit of functionality even though it doesn't install Cydia as of yet. So we are going through a reboot here. We'll let it boot back up. I'm wondering if this is going to do the same kind of thing that it uh, did for the uh, other devices where it goes through kind of like three separate stages to actually jailbreak it. So let's go ahead and launch it again here. Let's click on jailbreak again. So this should be stage two as long as it works the same way as the other jailbreaks did. And then by the third time it will put it into the jailbroken state. And we should get a pop-up with it as well, which will give us some more information. Oh, so there we go. It only took two times. Uh, so this is what I was talking about. Um, uh, some good information comes when, with this pop-up here. Exploited kernel task. You set the HSP4, the TFP0. Uh, Unexported kernel task port. Dumped AP ticket. Overwrote the boot nonce. So the boot nonce is, is pretty important as well. For those of you that do have uh, SHSH2 blobs saved, the boot nonce is going to allow you to restore to a blob. Um, like I said, I'll cover that in the future. It's it's really technical to do, uh, but it is important. And uh, big shout out in this video. If you guys are looking for a, a really good tutorial on how to uh, restore your device from your blobs, um, ICU or iCrack Your Eye device has a really good tutorial on that. So that's another great reason to uh, jailbreak your device right now is because you will get that boot nonce. And like I said, that only applies if you have SHSH2 blobs saved for your device. Uh, you got a logged slide, logged ECID, disabled the auto updates so that your device will not automatically update in the middle of the night to the newest version of iOS, which would be incredibly aggravating if that happened. 
Uh, it also remounted the root file system. It disabled app revokes, like I mentioned. So that's another cool thing. And then it did create the jailbreak directory. The app will now exit. So we can go ahead and click on OK. And let's go ahead and let's launch it. And as you can see, it does say re jailbreak. So uh, my 10s Max technically is for the first time jailbroken. It is in the jailbroken state right now. Now my apps will not get revoked. I have a boot non set and everything else, like I said, guys. So stay tuned. As soon as Soric updates Cydia or Substrate and it's implemented into the Uncovered Jailbreak, of course, I will have it covered here on the channel. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.